हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सतीश कुमार काशी प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर प्रेजेंटिंग अ टॉपिक इरिगेशन कैनॉल्स एंड इंट्रोडक्शन लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब वर्किंग ऑफ एन इरीगेशन कैनॉल सिस्टम एंड दे विल बी एबल टू क्लासीफाई इरीगेशन कैनॉल्स depending upon their size now this particular slide gives us the total idea about a catchment submergence and command area for irrigation scheme if this we find here this is a dam this dam receives water from this river system so this is a main river these are the tributaries of the rivers and this is a catchment area which contributes water to this particular reservoir it means the main river originates from the ridge line here its tributaries originate from this side and this is the area which is contributing water to this particular dam this is the submergence area of a reservoir that is the reservoir spread that is spread of water in a reservoir is in this way now this is a dam river continues here once again now after construction of a dam we find that there is a rise in water level on the upstream side of dam and hence the reservoir is formed so the additional head which is available with the water is now useful for transferring water into the canals which are at higher elevations as compared to river bed level so whatever head is gained by storing the water in this reservoir this head is sufficient to transfer water over a command area now what is command area command area is the area which receives water under gravity this is a spillway which gives out the excess water in this particular dam when your floods are there now we see here a typical canal a typical canal which is coming out of such a reservoir now this canal reaches up to say tens of kilometers and distributes water over the command area it means the area which receives water or the agricultural fields which receive water from this canal come under this command area now definition of irrigation and canal irrigation is the agricultural process of applying controlled amounts of water to land to assist in production of crops irrigation canal is an artificial channel generally trapezoidal in shape constructed on the ground to carry water to the fields either from a river or from a dam reservoir now when we do the irrigation what are the impacts of irrigation irrigation increases crop productivity due to assured water after providing irrigation one can take cash crops one can take crops even in summer seasons that's why irrigation facilities change the cropping pattern hence it increases cropping intensity it increases gross and net income of farmers impact of irrigation is also seen in the increase in farm wage rates and this ultimately helps to reduce the rural poverty and leads to prosperity now let us see the actual system so this is a typical dam this is uzni dam and this is the uzni reservoir this is a spillway over which water is passing the reservoir is seen here also in this image which is taken from google earth 
so we can see the spread of water on upstream side of a reservoir on upstream side of a dam in this way now a canal will come out from this dam so this is ujni main canal this comes out from this particular dam and releases water for the dam command area now let us classify the canals depending upon their size canals can be classified as main canal branch canal distributary minor distributary water course or field channel now let us see the schematic of different canals based on size here this is reservoir here this is head regulator for admitting water in a main canal so this is a main canal from this main canal a branch canal starts here there will be a cross regulator and here there will be head regulator for branch canal a branch canal starts from here and it goes further from this branch canal we find a major distributary is coming out from this major distributary again a minor distributary is coming out and this minor distributary ultimately releases water in a field channel so in this way a main canal branch canal major distributary minor distributary and field channel are the different types of canals based on their size this is another schematic now this is a river flowing in this direction this the here there is a head work this is a main canal starting so for a main canal we can have say a branch canal from branch canal there can be again sub branch sub branch from sub branch we can have distributary from distributary we can have minors so such is a typical canal network now in a project map how does it look so this is a river across the river a dam is constructed now the river continues in this way as we observe here this is a river continuing further but now from this dam one left bank canal starts and goes in this way on left bank and it irrigates this region on left bank of the river this here there is a distributary here there is a distributary the minor side field channels are not shown in this figure this is a right bank canal goes along right bank again feeds water to different distributaries and those distributaries feed water to minors and minors give water to field channels and ultimately a right bank of the river the water could not have reached here without pumping but as we have constructed a dam here raised the water level and that head we have used for transferring this water over this command area through this canals naturally the system of canals its alignment will depend upon the geography so here there is a weir this is main canal and you can see these contours here these are the contours these are the contours shown in dotted way and we need to align all canals depending upon the geography alignment of the canals according to the geography is discussed in the next video a cross section of a canal can be seen here now here this is a trapezoidal cross section of canal here this is a dovel here there is a service road on this side also this is dovel and this is service road a berm is provided here for stable slopes this is a outside borrow pit a canal section can be in full cutting a canal section can be in partial cutting and partial filling canal section can be in complete filling now why this difference the difference is because we need to match the alignment with the uneven topography topography is not in our hand we need to match with the topography we need to secure the hydraulic head which is made available by dam 
for driving water under gravity to the common area. We need to maintain uniform and gradual slopes of canal and for that purpose we need to go for canals in cutting or filling or partial cutting, partial filling. How? You can see here. Now see this is say a small hillock canal needs to pass. So a deep cut is made here and this is a water flowing through pull cutting. So we observe here that the water level is much below than the ground level. The full supply depth is much below than the ground level. Now here you find a canal section in partial cutting and partial filling. So this is the ideal way. Water soil is excavated from this. The same soil can be deposited here to form a bank. And then full supply level of canal can be above the natural ground level such that the canal will be in partial cutting and partial filling. Now here we find canal section in filling. It means the canal bed level is above the natural ground level. Here we do not want to lose the head. That's why we find that canal passes through the embankment. So let us have some question answers. Irrigation is basically required in humid regions, arid regions, arid and semi-arid regions, all the above. Answer is irrigation is basically or essentially required in arid and semi-arid regions. Next question, direct irrigation is normally not allowed from main canal, distributary, minor, field channel. Answer is main canal. Main canal is very important canal transferring a very large amount of discharge. Water is distributed to the field through field channels and never from the main canal or distributor. These are the references which are used. Thank you.